So my name is Deepa Verma. I'm an MD and I'm also board certified in integrative holistic medicine. I opened up my practice Synergistic Integrative Health about four years ago. As an integrative um, functional MD, I do much more out of the box testing. I offer a lot of services in my practice. Um, so the one is just very in-depth lab testing. I do everything from genetic testing to gut health to adrenal testing. So Ayurvedic medicine is actually the basis of integrative medicine and being Eastern Indian in origin, it was it's very very natural to me, it's very innate to me. And there is now a shift in Western medicine uh, that we're in integrating and incorporating these Eastern philosophies. I think something that's coming to the forefront, and we've seen all these tests like 23andMe, Ancestry.com, and that really piqued people's interest as to, let me look at my DNA blueprint, let me see what I'm born with and what I carry that's gonna influence the rest of my life or what, what I'm gonna pass down you know, generation to generation. So I was really intrigued when I was introduced to Pathway Genomics because the array of tests that were offered were just so diverse. Um, and I do really use all of them, um, everything from healthy weight to cardiac to mental to pain. Every test that I do, for example, in my blood work when I'm looking at leptin resistance, then I take a look at the healthy weight test and we look at you know eating disinhibition, the eating characteristics and then people finally get it. It's like a light bulb that goes off in their head like, wow, it's not really my fault that I can't lose weight. You know, I mean, I'll take responsibility for what I'm putting in my mouth, but genetically I'm predisposed to this. And then I talk about um, epigenetics with them. I talk about the environmental factors that can influence the genetics with them because I do tell people genetics can trump you know everything um, but it's your lifestyle that's going to make a difference and what people don't know is genetics are responsible for maybe only 25 percent of what happens to us but it can be the most powerful 25 percent of our health if we don't take care of ourselves i use the pain medication dna test um, a lot because I think for me, um, dealing with patients who are so pharmaceutically geared, it's important for them to know how destructive it can be. A, a man who was addicted to opiates for over 20 years, um, and I did the testing and it showed how destructive basically it was in terms of the metabolization in his body. Um, so that was more of an impetus for him to um, go and try the medical cannabis and really get off of it. It was a very heart-wrenching process to watch him go through because you know, people die from opioid withdrawal, um, but I really supervised him, and I think with the labs and the results, he was just more convinced and just had such a strong will and desire to get off of it because he knew he was gonna die if he wasn't gonna get off of it. There are so many tests that Pathway Genomic offers that actually fit into what they need. Everyone needs weight loss. Everyone's on some type of pain med. Everyone is taking some type of um, antidepressant. So, or everyone is, has a cardiometabolic risk. So for me, it's kind of a no-brainer. I offer it to them, and it just really depends what they're comfortable with. Overall, the array of tests that Pathway Genomics offers are you know, huge, and I love incorporating them to my practice. And I I think people are really looking to think outside the box and branch out and I think the genetic testing is huge. It's come a long way.